perfect. This wall within me, my soul and flesh makes me feel ashamed. Makes me feel ashamed. My broken body, my sin sick soul, need your healing now, need your healing now. There is no Thank you for joining me in uh, this concert that I hope it gives you hope. That's the title of this concert, Hope. Um, my name is David Stout. I am the worship leader here at Orangeville Baptist Church. And um, everything that you're going to hear tonight, all the music, the arrangements, the lyrics, everything that you're going to hear is songs that I've, I've written. So that song, um, Sing Your Praise, I just written. Uh, recently with some of my friends that I knew that were going through some difficult times um, physically and emotionally and kind of inspired me to do that but uh, I hope that's what your faith is that no matter what's going on no matter what's happening that God is your strong tower and even if you lose everything you'll still sing his praise so tonight what you're going to hear is um, me singing along with some accompaniment tracks. Um, I use a program called Finale, so that it won't sound like 100% like an orchestra, but the songs I picked tonight, of things like, songs I've written, are more acoustic, a little more laid back. You're gonna hear some drums and some uh, bass guitar, but a lot of piano, a lot of instruments like that. Um, 
So I hope you enjoy it. I hope that uh, it lifts your spirit. The next song I'm going to do is called uh, Lift Up Your Head. And what you're going to see is, um, hey, just a minute, David. David's doing this, this songs for me. Um, I have this stand here because even though I have written the songs, I still don't have them memorized. I have been tweaking them <laughs> even up till today. I was still working on some of the stuff, making it just right. So uh, that's why I have all the words and stuff here in front of me. But uh, David, if you go ahead and, and do lift up your head, please. Jesus, come be near us. Hold us close. 
someone's wounds, if your child gets a cut, you got to put a band-aid on stuff, you, you have to, to touch them, you have to put salve on it and bind it up to help it heal. And uh, in the midst of this, I was thinking of the verse in Zephaniah 317, the last part of that verse says that God, God himself, rejoices over us with singing. So this, this song is about God singing to us through difficult times. So, David, if you would please. In my weakness you are strong and God I can't go on. I'm waiting So my strength I can renew. Yeah. 
gently stroke, please gently stroke my hair and kiss me on my cheek. Look deep into my eyes and hold me to your side. Please lift me up off my feet and sing sweetly over me. Sing to me. turns to light when the pain and fear subside you're still here you're still here you're still here you're still here sing to me Giver of all good things, let your light shine through all the earth. Dwell in my praises, let all of heaven ring with songs of your grace and your great word. Spirit free, give me the strength to face each day. Be my defender, my mighty shelter, Lord, a mighty life to show the Beyond all measures, brighter than all the stars, greater than mine imaginings. My loving Father, for all eternity, your song of love for me will bring. And I
songs that I want to sing for you are actually some of the, uh, the oldest songs that I, I've written. And uh, it was a time when I was uh, <clears throat> doing a lot of story-driven songs. And I tried to put myself inside people's heads, people's minds, and try to imagine what it was like, what they went through. Um, so, and the first one, out of the next three, is called To Be. And I'll save that, the explanation of that, when I start to sing it. The second one is called My Story. And in writing the song, I want to just see what was it like the disciples as they were facing Jesus' arrest and crucifixion? To actually be there in the moment while it was happening. And the confusion and the fear and not knowing what the outcome was going to be. <clears throat> Fearing for their own lives. So I wrote a song based on that idea that in the moment, through several disciples' eyes. The third song is called I'm Just a Lamb. And I wrote that based on the idea of the, the one lost sheep. And I tried to write it from the perspective of the sheep. And imagine being lost and afraid, lonely, and uh, the emotions that might bring. And then the end of that, the shepherd finds you and that, that joy and that relief that comes in that one. But the first three I want to do is a song called To Be. And I wrote this actually back when I graduated from high school, back in 1995, a long time ago. And um, something about this song just, it was difficult to write. I came and I uh, did the lyrics and I had the melody, but I just, I could not find music to go with it. And uh, it took me several years, and just recently, probably two or three years ago, I was finally able to, to finish it. So the song was actually probably um, 15, 20 years in the making. And it's something that's very close to my heart. Um, difficult song to sing. Push myself vocally on it. And uh, hopefully I can sing it. But um, it's a song I wrote about abortion what it was like it to be on, on the opposite side of that, through the eyes of the child, the baby that was aborted. I believe that God has his hand in those difficult situations. I believe that life begins at conception. I believe that just like the Bible says that he forms us in our womb. I believe that just like John the Baptist left in the womb when Jesus came with Mary while he was still in the womb when they visited, I believe that they know what's going on. It talks about, um, I think Jacob and Esau wrestling in the womb. There's life there in the womb. And I, I imagine when I was writing this song, you go ahead and start it, David, because that's a long intro. That um, Jesus welcomes these kids up to heaven. And he sits them on their knees. And this is the conversation that those kids have with Jesus. Watch it to smile upon my face, a loving kiss, a warm embrace. To read or write, to sing a song Just to live a whole day long What is it like to be? Seeing a beautiful butterfly Chasing it into the sky 
Jesus, no more Jesus. 
Jesus, how could Jesus be gone? They said that Mary had been to the grave. She said it was empty, the stone was rolled away. Their two angels told her, please do not fear. The one you're seeking, he is no longer here. She said she saw him. How could she see him? It couldn't be him. Is he alive? As a ghost in the room, my eyes burned with tears as a light filled the gloom. He said, come closer, touch my hands and my feet. Here is a spear scar, do you doubt that it's me? And I said, you are Jesus, you are Jesus, you are Jesus, you're alive. You are Jesus, you are Jesus, you are Jesus. Oh 
upon the cross He paid the cost The purest love was given And now I find the strength to stand. I hear you calling, Father, here I am. I know I'm safe. In your embrace, Father, please forgive me. I'm just a lamb. The next song that I want to share is uh, a song that I wrote to uh, kind of bridge the divide. There's a, uh, most of my life, there's been a debate about hymns versus new songs and uh, what blended worship means. And uh, as we try to reach out to the younger generation, but still feed and take care of the other generation. Try to mix that gap. Try to find bridge that gap, much like Christ did for us to bridge that gap. And uh, so I have often wondered why we don't sing some of the songs we sang as kids. Great words, simple tune, simple melody, nice harmonies. And so I thought of the song, He Just Loves Me, a song that we all know can sing by heart, don't need the words on it. And as I get to the chorus of this song, I invite you to sing with me. Give me a second to drink. But I, I knew that the chorus, or the verses, um, was more for kids than adults. So I gave it more adult. The verses changed the melody. And I also, I, I wrote this as a symbol of the two generations coming together. You're going to hear organ, piano, uh, strings, brass, but you'll also hear drums and guitar and uh, things like that. And one verse is, is like, you know, kind of throwback and one verse is more modern. And the final verse is, um, and chorus is everything together, like symbolically. The, the two sides coming together. So, as uh, David starts this song and we'll begin going, I invite you to sing the chorus with me. Jesus loves me. Jesus 